we would like to thank His Holiness for allowing for the hosting of Yasa Puja for the second time here in Lhasa. And we would also like to thank our devotees in Asian churches, Singapore, Thailand, China, India, Malaysia, and all over the world. Our well wishers and also members of the congregation for aiding in the development of the this blessed day. I would like to take this moment to speak about the many things Krishna Balaram Indian Arts and Culture Society has done. Ever since I formally took over as the president of the Krishna Balaram Indian Arts and Culture Society on the 1st of July, Indian Arts and Culture Society done. Ever since I formally took over as the president of the Krishna Balaram Indian Arts and Culture Society on the 1st of July in 2023, we have accomplished of many things in an attempt uh, to spread the glories of Lord Krishna all over the country. We successfully hosted the Damodara Puja in 17 temple schools, one polytechnic, and also 40 homes and temples, making of combined 58 locations where we have offered up to 5,000 lands and distributed Christ Prasadam for up to 5,000 people. We also hosted the Gita Jayanti which coincides with the distribution of, of up to 4, 249 copies of Bhagavad Gita to the Mlanka Tamil School to spread the word of Krishna. We have also started four classes for the Bhagavad Gita with the with two of them being the temples and while the other two in temple schools. Lastly, we have hosted Arinam and book distribution across major festivals in temples in Malacca. As for 2023, we have initiated 25 devotees in Malacca Yatra and four people have completed the Bhakti Sastri course. His Holiness Udhava Das, His Holiness Kral Prakash Das, His Holiness Damianti Devi Dasi, and also His Holiness Vani Sujata Mataji. Two devotees are still progressing in the course. One is myself and also my wife Vijaya. Regarding the Bhakti Vaibhava course, two devotees are currently going through the course. His Holiness Kunda Das, His Holiness Damianti Devi Dasi. We highly encourage more devotees to join this course to achieve spiritual enlightenment and develop the stronger bond of the bond of the Krishna Lord Krishna. This year we pledge His Holiness to complete multiple feats for the year 2024 in the attempt of further our circle of influence within the state. I would like to speak of the progress we have made so far in our missions to fulfill our pledge. On the 1st January and recently on the 9th February, we hosted two free Jagannath Pradhyatra in Malacca and we currently aspire to host two more within the state by year end. We have successfully hosted five Harinams with 19 of them still pending. Of the to 1,200 copies of Power Gita that we have read to distribute, we have successfully distributed 269 copies. We also hope to launch Bhagavad Gita classes in six more locations, having successfully done so far four locations. Lastly, we have arranged for the shelter and initiation of 21 devotees. We said to arrange another 79 more devotees by this year end. Our objective of pledge towards His Holiness is to increase the reach of Krishna consciousness to the greater public, to introduce Krishna's messages in His glories to more people, and also enhance our existing relationship with our devotees. We have believed that with the goals, we will be able to spread, spread the goodwill of Lord Krishna and His Divine Grace is the Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada's teachings to those who set enlightenment and freedom for, from the material desires. As part of our mission to do better and than before, we kindly request His Holiness Sri Bhakti Vinayashan Narasimha Maharaj to involve in a third Yasa Puja hosted in Nathra next year. We also would like to invite His Holiness disciples and devotees to come along as well. We aspire to make the third Yasa Puja in, in a day of a much larger scale, much like a convention where we can host ID about up to 1,000 devotees in the Malacca International Trade Center, MITC Malacca. I would like to end my speech with once again 
and expression of gratitude towards His Holiness Sri La Bhakti Vikna Vinasa Maharaj and His Holiness Jananda Goswami Maharaj, His Holiness Bhakti Mukunda Swami Maharaj for raising visitors to the presence of in this year's Vyasa Puja. I would also like to extend my apologies to His Holiness, His disciples and also a few fellow, fellow devotees for any shortfalls and inconvenience that may have occurred during this even during this given day. We aspire to improve on our mistakes today so that we can make the next year far better than ever. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Yes, Pruji. Yes, Pruji. The organization is organized in the basis of Bao Gita. Hmm. It's the principle of... May I zoom in? <laughs> and then, uh, it is here, it's like a, like a, like a bud, right? It blooms. That means where we started, where we want to be. We are very cheap at building this place. We are supposed to build a five-story building on the side. For termination. Remember, Prabhupada always emphasized that you must have accommodation for the devotees. So we wanted, so we acquired the land, but that we have some technical glitches with the government, so that's why it's on hold. Now, moving forward, we wanted to have uh, maybe 10 acres. I brought Maharaj to look at the 10 acres. A lot of, a lot of uh, our brahmas, brahmas, when they get old, where do they go? There must be a place for them to stay. And towards the end of the life, at least you have, you know, continuously spreading your consciousness. We can bring all our children over there and have them, you know, inculcate into them the consciousness. So that is a function of the, the, the final one. So we got two of them, one is five acre, another one is ten acre. The five acre is 1.5 million. So we are trying to look at that, whether we can make that work, right? And uh, Jananda Maharaj was talking about something earlier. What is the, you know, why is the state of our Consciousness is not moving fast enough or better enough. In my experience, when we started this place, I didn't know anything about consciousness. Okay? I went to uh, Simneswara and Prabhu Vishnu Maharaj came here and I was short of almost 500, 
500,000, right? To start begging him for a loan, interest free loan or minimum interest loan. He said, no. So I didn't know where to go. So, and only thing I knew was Gita was there. This is the point I want to make across to you. Whatever Krishna said in the Gita, it is real and it happened to me, right? You look at chapter 9, verse 22. What did he say? He said, for somebody who is thinking of me always, I'll preserve what you have and I'll provide what you lack. So I went to him and I spoke in front of the lady. I said, you put me into six months, this building was not moving at all. Right? And you know what happened? A miracle happened. A, a couple came in front and they asked, why, why, are, why are you, nobody's working on this? I said, I got no money. And this couple, the wife was maybe, you know, not seeing him on the side. And I, I, and I thought, there it goes in my mind, cruel mind. Right? I see the wife is telling, give, give. You know? And this man came forward and gave me 250,000. He is no other than Nagin Prabhu today. So, what I'm saying is, this is not one miracle, I've seen many miracles. I've gone and asked, even and booked a World Trade Center, Gaurav Purnima, right? And uh, I don't know how many people, I was banging on, you know, our uh, ISKCON devotees to come, I sent fillers all over, and I, I'm not waiting. And then you know what happened? This place is a very plastic place and there wasn't an Aukuru Maharaj approaching. He was in Malpur involved in some classes or something. And the only visiting Guru Maharaj was uh, uh, His Holiness Chaitanya. Uh, Bhakti Chaitanya Maharaj. He, he was around. He was a huge man. So, and the program starts during Mangala. Can you imagine? And, I, and, I, and I'm taking him in the car. I was, my heart was pumping. Boom, boom, boom. You know, because I don't know whether the crowd is going to be there. All I said was, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I organized this for you. We have a life size, uh, you know, growing tiger. So, what happened was, the moment I went in there, you know, I was going up the escalator with him, and you know what happened? The, tent, the, the hall was half, almost three quarter full of people. Mangalarti, you know, not our Iskand beauty. Most of them are first time devotees are not devotees at all. So see the power of power of the uh, you know Chantanya Mahaprabhu. Because I I was really worried, you know, I was taking him to the escalator up the escalator and, and I was going towards the door. I was like, you know, I'm gonna pain like that. I don't know what's going to be maybe a few people only standing there but it was three quarters full. So, the miracle, what I'm saying is, whatever you are reading, there are 700 verses that everyone carries a potency. Okay? Not only that, you face several challenges. I met T.K. Prabhu in Jagannath Mandir, and he was practically telling me that, you know, I have this big congregation in China, and I want to do a workshop, and do I said, what can we do? I said, come to Malacca, we will do it for you. And you know how many, how many, how many uh, from how many countries they came? Eleven countries. And then the uh, ceremony was opened by the minister himself. 
and and the best part of it all is you know meeting the, uh, the the working with the police police thought I'm going uh, I'm bringing having uh, what a communist gathering here so I have four special class officers I have to talk to I to give them all the photocopy of all the all the passports and you know what every place I brought them the special class over them they stayed here for three days after that they they thought this place is no fun anymore. They went back. So what I'm trying to tell you is, there's a lot of things all of you can do. Maharaj is bringing the entire parampara with him. That's a potency. So all of us, most of us are you know, married, okay, and we should engage them. So what I did for I got special professional made out of, I got a Saguna, where are you? Yes, so now please. So what I did was, I brought this assistant commissioner of police, please come in and join our group. Okay. I brought a doctor, I brought a lawyer. So why I brought all these up? These are all competent people in certain field. So we need to engage them. Don't say they are Karunis. We all go down. Right? We all go down. So what we need to do is engage people who have high competency to be in our mission. If you don't do that, Kaupa did that. So if you don't do that, what is going to happen is you, you're going to run in a close circuit among yourself. So you're going to open up, you're going to competency. That is how Nagel Prabhu, he is the CEO of a company, right? Now he is a guy. So what I am trying to tell you is, it's a wonderful scripture, okay? The Guru Maharaj said, you look at the power here. We were always, all the human activities are covered, covered in the power. You see, we talk about daily worship, Christ lady. Okay, we talk about strategy management, highly strategy management. You know, we have uh, facade management. I got a guy who doesn't know how to cook, right? He likes that thing. Today he's one of the best cooks, Narto Mardas. All you guys have your facade. Then we have a daily worship. One thing we need to understand, every Indian house has an altar in the house, correct? Why don't we in a mass scale teach them how to do daily worship, the correct method? How do you offer prasadam? Don't worry about, you know, what deity they are giving them. But teach them the prasad. Eventually they will come. When they start offering prasadam, Krishna will enter into their house. Take this as a challenge and do it. You know, like your distributing book. Who said we cannot distribute? In two weeks we distribute 1,000 Vaudita. There is no such thing as you can't do. It's your heart. If you believe this is not... Consciousness is not for pain people. Pain heart. was so strong, he can go anywhere himself. What if he can do, all of us can do. Tell him. Tell me. Tell him. Hey, don't have voice. Yeah. Thank you very much. Please go out there and make it happen. That is why I don't, you know, again, Prabhu, homage means not talking about flowery words. What is your commitment? When Maharaj repeated him in, uh, in his 76 Yasa Puja, they have put there, I want to read Bhagavad Gita and preach, or I'm going to read Bhagavad Gita, or I'm going to, you know what my personal commitment is? I often hear Chinese cannot get into uh, consciousness. Is it true? No. Maharaj brings a drop of them here. 
why in Malaysia 30% are Chinese? Why are we not working on them? Play simple convenience. And I, my commitment for us to do is this year. I've had full house Chinese going through Bhavagi Taka. <laughs> <laughs>
Britain, China, of course, uh, in China we had, there was some problem in the st stability of the country. At one point, in, it was in the time, some time ago, with the late, the, just before the, the turn of the century, before the turn of the millennium, Anyway, there was an uprising in China. I'm reminded about my own history coming to Malaysia. I, I did not come to Malaysia. A devil was his holiness, Sananda Maharaj. The students were revolting, and the government had a crackdown on them. And when they cracked down on the students, they cracked down on the whole situation all over China. At one point, previously, it looked like China was opening up and becoming like the Western world. They would open up for some time and then they crack down. So there was a crack down and it became very difficult to be there. And it was at that time I was thinking where to go and preach. And so I got the inspiration to come to Malaysia because I know there's a a good percentage of Chinese people here. Uh, Adi country Prabhu is one of the famous uh, Chinese devotees here in Malaysia. And so I thought it would be nice to go to Malaysia and spend some time there preaching. So it's about the turn of the century, it's about 2000. Initially, before that, I'd always been in Hong Kong, Taiwan, and mainland China. But then, the political situation that got so difficult that uh, I had to think of finding some new areas to go and try to preach Krishna consciousness. And Tamal Krishna Maharaj had given me the instruction that I should dedicate myself to trying to cultivate the Chinese people and because he knew I'd learned something of the language you know, not perfect but something and so he, he encouraged me to use it so I thought if I come over to Malaysia I'd have an opportunity to try to cultivate some of the Chinese people here and at one point he take a at that time These people represent about 30% of the population here in Malaysia. Whereas the Indian population percentage is about 8%. Yeah? So it's, it's, you know, if we just preach to the Indian people, you have a limited field. But if we preach out more to other people, we have a much bigger preaching field. And we always speak about outreach preaching, you know, reaching out, going out and extending ourselves to meet new people, to go in new areas and try to cultivate people. I was in Singapore recently and they had a program. We have one Chinese lady there in Singapore and she uh, teaches yoga and she, she arranges some programs once a week or once a month where we meet new people, people who have no connection with Krishna consciousness. And we meet them in an environment which is not a temple. We meet them usually in a, in a yoga studio. And I had the opportunity to talk to them and it was, it was very nice. They were very receptive and certainly 
there's a lot of scope for that kind of cultivation. And similarly, in countries like China, we don't have any temples there. People often ask me, how many temples have we got there? I say, no, no temples. Zero temples. But there are the Buddhists. There's a good number of them. Not a lot. I mean, <laughs> you have a billion people. <laughs> Now the population of China is so huge. We are a very small percentage. But Srila Prabhupada gave the example. Srila Prabhupada came to Hong Kong and he saw how Burijan Prabhu, Burijan Prabhu and his wife were staying in Hong Kong initially. And they made one, one Hong Kong man, Chinese body man, a devotee. And Prabhupada was very pleased. And Prabhupada said, he said, just like if you have a forest, you may have a big forest of trees. If there is one sandalwood tree in the forest, then the whole forest has a nice smell, has a beauty, that aroma of sandalwood goes through the whole forest. So he said, one Chinese devotee, he said, makes the whole Chinese race glorious. So Prabhupada was encouraging Bharijan Prabhu that you know that, that he was we were telling Bharijan how pleased he was to see Chinese people take up Krishna consciousness. And Prabhupada told them, send him to Mayapur. And of course they did that and the devotee went to Mayapur. And Prabhupada would then say to the god brothers, when his god brothers from the Gaudiya Mat would come, he would say, Look, the Chinese are also joining. You know, there was one man. <laughs> but he say, Even the Chinese are coming, you know. So the, the, the god brothers were, Oh, you know, they were impressed. So certainly Prabhupada liked us to go everywhere and to preach because that is Lord Chaitanya's mission. Priti Viti Ajiya Nabar Adhikra Sakatra Prachar Haide Morana Then we should go to Nagar Adhikra Every town and village Sometimes we think, oh it's just a village I'm not going to go there <laughs> But villages also you can get a lot of devotees If you make the whole village Krishna conscious it's wonderful. We want to have Krishna conscious villages everywhere. And the Prabhupada named the farm Gita Nagari. The, the farm where everybody sings the songs of Krishna. So we want to think how to distribute Krishna consciousness. In Srimad Bhagavatam you have Sukadeva Goswami offering prayers. If you've studied the second canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, Sukadeva Goswami was asked to describe the process of creation. So be before he began to describe it, he first of all offered prayers. And one of the prayers is very important to us often quoted by Prabhupada, Kirita Punandra Pulita Pokesha Abhira Shimba Yavana Kashadaya Yadyeta Papa Yadapashraya Shraya Sudyanti Goswami is listing different races around the surface of the planet. And he begins, Kirita. Prabhupada said, Kirita means Africans. So, Prabhupada sent Brahmananda to Africa. Brahmananda was one of the first devotees to join Srila Prabhupada in New York. Brahmananda was a very strong, big bodied man. American, white, and very big and powerful. So Prabhupada told you go to Africa. Sent him to Africa. And he preached there. 
when, when, when Prabhupada went to see his preaching, you know, first of all he went to Kenya, he was in Nairobi, so Prabhupada went there and Prabhupada said, he said, you're only preaching to the Hindus. I sent you to Africa, you're supposed to preach to the Africans. <laughs> you're only preaching to the Hindus. You're living very nicely, you have a nice temple, and the Gujarati people, the many Gujaratis there, they come and they're very pious, and the temple has no difficulties, supported very easily. But he said, what about the Africans? I sent you to preach to the Africans. And so then they arranged a program for Prabhupada. They took Prabhupada into the African areas. And Prabhupada went and Prabhupada preached. Of course, the Indian people, they ran away. <laughs> you know, but, but Prabhupada was showing by his example that he wanted us to go everywhere to distribute Krishna consciousness. Not to consider who is qualified and who is not. It is said, when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, well, first of all, when Lord, when Lord Krishna appeared, he brought with him a storehouse of love of God. But the content was sealed. How to get the content? You have to surrender to Krishna to get that. So the contents was set, kept sealed. It was a big storehouse, but the contents was locked. So then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came along with the Panchatattva, and they broke open the storehouse. And they plundered all the contents. Just like sometimes they have a coup. You know, sometimes there's a coup. The people break everything. They break, you know, all the shopkeepers try to lock up their stores and everything. But when there's a coup, the people, there's no law and order. The people break into everything and they find everything. You, you get one. There was a coup one time in Kenya. It happened like that. So the people, they had their safe, they had everything locked, they thought it was safe, but the people broke everything. They got everything. So the Pachatapa, they plundered the storehouse of love of God. And they didn't keep it for themselves. They distributed it to everyone without any discrimination. Young men, old men, women and children, everyone got the mercy of the Panchatattva. They distributed this love of God very freely. So we are meant to follow. We have in Mayapur Panchatattva. We are worshipping Panchatattva. Sometimes I hear even people chant Jaya Panchatantra. They're singing Panchatantra. But we should follow the mood of the Panchatantra and distribute Krishna consciousness freely to everyone without discrimination. Of course, here in this country, there has to be some discrimination. We know there are laws about who you can preach to and who you cannot and who you can give books to and who you cannot. So we have to have some consideration for these principles. We're, we're careful. We do want to preserve the society that we have a, a standing here in this country that, and the country is very liberal. They give us the opportunity to perform Rafi Atras in so many cities. As we just heard this morning, here in Melaka, already two Rafi Atras. And there's plans for two more this year. So, 
the, the, the government has been very liberal to the Krishna consciousness movement. Although, of course, this is an Islamic country, predominant, predominantly Islamic, but still, the, the government, they see that our society follow the laws, we are respectful to their different laws, and they give us facilities to practice our religion, and they even give us facility to have our festivals. We don't see too many Christian street festivals. Or even among the Islamic people, we don't see street festivals. They're quite conservative about the practice of their faith. But Krishna consciousness, especially the Lord Dear Vaishnavas, we like to go out and we like to create some atmosphere. We like to generate some enthusiasm and awaken people to their spiritual journey. Help them to understand that they're all spiritual beings and they do have some responsibility to understand how to make proper use of the human life. Right? If we just simply live in the body, eat and sleep, mate and defend, then we are just two-legged animals. Three pada pashu. Human life is not meant for just eating and sleeping, but it's meant for self-realization. We have to practice self-realization. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taught us the easiest process by chanting the holy name. And the most powerful process in chanting the holy name is by Sankirtan. So we have some of our great generals of Sankirtan are here with me today. They're really my inspiration, how they chant and dance, how they propagate the holy name. Bhakti Makunda Maharaj is especially expert in building temples and opening temples. He went with Krita Kundu Prabhu. Prabhupada wanted temples, there should be centers. We were hearing this morning, we were reading from the Prabhupada's instructions, Prabhupada's letters, and Prabhupada was saying, go oh, and make temples. And so Bhakti Makunda Maharaj went with Kripa Sindhu Prabhu, and they went to the other side of Malaysia, to Kuchin, and they've established a nice center there. And then Bhakti Makunda Maharaj went come back to Malaysia, and he went to Mantaka, yeah, and he made a center in Mantaka, and now he come, went to, uh, well, he went to Serumban, and he saw the conditions in the center there were not so healthy. There were a lot of devotees, but the temple itself was not in a very attractive area, and he thought how to improve it. And now he's just recently constructed and opened a new center in Spring Hill, just near to Port Dixon. Yeah. And so that this is inspirational to be able to open more nice centers for Krishna consciousness. Yeah, we can practice at home. You may say no need for the temple, but it's much more powerful when we have a center, when we have some place where we can meet with other devotees and we can be together and practice with them. The strength of association is so important. To come together, to be with devotees, the kirtan, the, 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 the Krishna conscious kata is much richer when we're in the association of devotees.
So we do need these centers. And it may take some time, but gradually we will see more and more people. Just like Jananda Goswami Maharaj was telling us this morning, how they were about 20 devotees initially in the 1980s in Malaysia. And now there are thousands of devotees. How did it happen? Because the devotees were here. They make a center. They have programs. People start to come. We have festivals. We celebrate festivals. Initially, people in Malaysia only knew Shiva prayers. They only knew Shiva mantras. But now, by the grace of the Krishna Consciousness Movement, more and more people know the Bhagavad Gita. Our Gita Gyan program has been so successful. Thousands of people have taken part in the Gita Gyan, learning the main topics from the Bhagavad Gita. And it's still going on. Regular classes online to people all over Malaysia. Jananda Maharaj was here in Malaysia for some time and then he traveled other places in the recent times. He is based in countries like France. In France, the preaching had declined almost stopped but Jananda Maharaj went back to Paris he went back to France and he was able to get them to reprint the Srimad Bhagavatam in French oh. it had gone out of print practically nobody even knew there's a Bhagavatam in French but Maharaj found out about it and he got it printed and he got devotees going everywhere distributing it. The devotees even in Switzerland have a, have a set of the Bhagavatam from France. So there are countries like France, parts of Switzerland, they need the books in the local language. Just like you, you like to get your Tamil books. Many of you read the Tamil book. You, you don't read the English, you prefer to read the Tamil. The education here in Malaysia is more Malaysia Basa. Not, not so much English. English is not a very prominent language here. Malaysian Basa and then Chinese will speak their Ch the Chinese language and the Indian people will speak Tamil. English is not much used here, but still for international purposes it's important. So similarly, Maharaj is printed in encouraging book distribution and he's brought many people, he developed the temple, they have a big temple there in New Mayapur. It's an old building with a big land. Now I know myself from the UK in London we have Bhaktivedanta Manor. And it looks very nice in pictures. But if you have to go there and if you have to maintain it, then you have a big headache. Because it's an old building and there are many laws about what you can do and what you can't do. It's very difficult. You cannot move one tree. You cannot cut one branch from a tree. There's so many laws which they have. And you cannot change the drainage pipes. The drainage pipes are all cast iron. You cannot put PVC. <laughs> so many problems. So similarly, Maharaj in New Mayapur, the New Mayapur building, it's an older building. And they look nice, but they're very hard to maintain. Very difficult. These are some of the problems which are going on in our preaching work. It's nice 
expand the Krishna consciousness movement, but at the same time we have to maintain what is already put up. Here in Malacca, Makunda Prabhu stays here, he is the Pujari. He stays, he stays alone. Kamakanda Prabhu, he stays here, he's a Pujari. You can see he's got a lot of deity coming up. Actually, the Jagannath deities are not permanent here. The Jagannath deities were brought recently for Rathyatra. But many It may be Rati. I spoke to my Prabhu who was telling me this morning. He prayed to the deity and then somebody came along and gave 250,000. So that kind of thing doesn't happen every time. We could all go and pray, you know, but still we may not get what we want. So we, we have to be careful about how we project. I was just in Johor, and I'm saying the time for Buddha at the temple with Bhakti Charutamada. He's also ambitious to develop a property there in Johor. We have actually four centers in Johor now. They're all weekend centers. During the week, we're not probably there. Yeah. You go to the center and you stay in a week, not probably there. They should come back on time. <laughs> so, maybe not centered center who is very ambitious and he has plans to be locating one land. He's hopeful to secure that land. This land is located one land, and he's hopeful to secure that land. And then he's also hopeful that he will get permission to build an actual temple, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, we'll keep quiet about that. But. Anyway, he's 
wishes to do something. This is happening. And we expect in the future more and more people will come and they will, they will want to do something for Krishna. I was in India and I went to Hyderabad and they, they have a new center in Hyderabad. A new center. There's another center in a suburb of Hyderabad. And I said, what happened? How did this temple come about? They said, oh, one man was coming to the temple and he asked, can I do some service? Is there any way I can help the temple? And so another devotee was there and the devotee said to him, would you like to build the temple? He said, all right. And he did. He built a beautiful temple. And it's such a, it's a beautiful place. There's three big altars with big deities as well as small deities. They've got big marble deities as well as the small facility. And it's a big temple with a restaurant and it's got an elevator inside to take you up and down the stairs. Oh, y'all want to go there, eh? <laughs> He wants to go, yeah. Okay. Anyway, these things are going on in ISKCON. More and more people are coming forward to engage in service. But what's lacking? The manpower. It's not so much the financial resources which are the problem. The problem is more the manpower. You know, it's easy for people to give some money today, right? People have money today, everybody's got cars and things like that. And they give money. But we want you to give your life. We don't want your money. When we used to when we used to go and make life members, we would always tell people, we don't want your money, Mr. Agarwan. We don't we want you. We want you. Come out. Get out from behind that desk. We want you to come with us and go for preaching. <laughs> I'll just give you a check. They don't want to do that. It's much easier for them to sign a check. How much do you want? You know, Just go, leave me alone. You know? But we're, we want to encourage all of you that you should think how you could dedicate yourself more fully to Krishna. How you could give what, what, what's left of your life to use it for the service of Krishna. And in this way, you can die peacefully. <laughs> if you don't, then you won't be peaceful. <laughs> These are some points for you to consider. Maybe we'll ask John Hindu. <laughs> really? How are we doing on the schedule? Hey, I'm very organized here. They're keeping right to the schedule already. <laughs> <laughs> We're ahead of time, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so they gave us one hour each. <laughs> so um, I'll speak backwards if that helps for the time again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to give us some idea. Normally at these events, you, you give the speakers a kind of like a time limit, and there's usually someone standing in front of you, you know. <laughs> day of Brahma. Huh? The day of Brahma. The day of Brahma. No, be realistic. Come on, say, I, I was told five minutes. That's right. What does that mean? Five minutes would be nice. Five minutes would be nice. <laughs> Anything more would be nice. Anything would be nicer. Nicer than you. <laughs>
I'll tell you about. I'm sure many disciples and well wishers have a desire to offer their heart, heart words on this occasion of His Holiness Bhakti Vignashna Srinivasa's 75th, his 75th Jasa Puja. Oh, he hasn't had 75 ceremonies. <laughs> <laughs> He's not the Asa But um, it's a wonderful time. It's a, it's a kind of a crossroad, huh? 75. The last quarter of life. Is it 100? <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> Om Yaka Gandhas Yaka Namdina Shalaya Kakurna Yena Sri Uyena Sri Chaitanya Mano Vishnam Sakabhikam Yena Bhutale Sayam Bhutavadamayam Yadati Svaparamitam That would be the five minutes over. <laughs> Yeah, no. um, well, what can I say? Uh, Maharaj may not remember this, but uh, I'll, I'll just tell one or two, not many. It's kind of short anyway. But um, Maharaj joined the temple in London. He joined in London. He joined the temple there in 71, in Burry Place in London. Early days, moved have been there one or two years, one of the early devotees. And uh, I came to the temple in London first time in September 1971. And I was already there. Prashinga, Prashinga Prabhu, initiated by Sri Prabhupada. Is that the one you initiated? Just initiated when I got there, please. And when I went to the temple, it was another, there were several, I would say, attractive features which were very contagious. Um, and one of those was the incredible enthusiasm of the devotees. Another one of those was the teamwork, working together. Something which I've seen is perhaps evolve, maybe in a different way. There's a lot more kind of, this is my service, I don't do that service. But then, everyone was doing everything. Everyone cleaned, everyone came for class, everyone was living in the temple. It was easier. But the principle was there, the devotees were willing to do anything. Your beloved Vajendra Kumar, back here, Vajendra Nanda Maharaj, was a, a living example of somebody who would do any service day or night. Many times we find him at 11 o'clock at night washing all the pots. I was a temple commander quite a while. <laughs> he would engage him. But when I first came to the temple, the first thing that happened was to shout. The sadhana was extraordinary. And the boys, maybe not today, but the boys like Sinishwar, Lotus Swami, Sri Garango, Siddhi Sadhana, Sevananda, and others will all attest to the fact that the prasadhana was different. It was very different. They couldn't relate to it, coming from Tamil backgrounds at first. But after a while, it became out of this world, and it really attracted something very difficult. Sweet rice, which was divine, cooked for 12 hours. Gulab made three days before the feast. And all porous, all kinds of extraordinary preparation, even the rice of the feast unto itself. 
nothing less than push and rise to the feast. Not the usual fear of Malaysia. This movement is a revolution. As I said, this is a revolution. We're not here just to continue our whatever tradition and such for our materialistic lifestyle, a little veneer of spirituality. Is a real revolution, a change of consciousness. Instead of seeing ourselves or our own upbringing in the center, they're seeing Krishna in the center and what he wants and how it will change the hearts of others around us. Times change, we have to live with the times. Live with the times that are with the progress we shall call. But it had an amazing effect. When I first came, the Sunday feast was absolutely out of this world. Push pan rice, Mahaprinsha, everything cooked. We would start Monday preparing for the Sunday feast. Planning how to please Krishna, how to please the devotees, how to attract people with the weapon of Prashad. Oh, that was my first experience with the amazing effects of Prashad. Nobody really spoke to me except the same would you like to come on Sankar Town. And I did, I went with them on her now, but that's the story was to take us five hours, not five minutes. <laughs> the first devotee who actually preached to me and admired me not know this, but it was Bushinga. That gave me national truth. He probably doesn't remember. I think you were the treasurer at that time. You were in the office. You were the treasurer, weren't you? Yeah, I, mean, I didn't want to say that. It's kind of embarrassing. He whispered there, the infamous treasure. Probably the most infamous treasure of the man that the London Temple ever knew. But uh, he was known. Well, with the Scottish, um, let's say, from a Scottish background, this sense, Scottish people are tenancy, they're very strict with money very tight, it's a rather more appropriate word. So he was a very tight treasurer. <laughs> but I have to thank him because he actually he didn't preach long. Um, I was holding back and joining the temple. And it's unusual in those days, it took me six months to uh, finally make the move. And I purposely did that because I wanted to make sure this is what I wanted to do. But aside from that, I was holding on, like many of us youngsters in those days, to music, especially the rock modern, those days modern, not now, music at the time, uh, which was captivating our senses, no doubt. And I was just wondering, wait a minute, it, it seems like these Hare Krishnas don't listen to rock music. It seems they don't go to parties. doesn't look like they smoke marijuana. How am I going to get my satisfaction? <laughs> I like chanting Hare Krishna, I love the Father. And the devotees are nice, and I like service. But there's still something a little more. I couldn't quite, you know, go back up. So Maharaj opened the bag of the Gita, I was sitting, I went up, somehow I ended up in the office he was in the treasurer's office. And he opened up the bag of the Gita and said, hey, listen to this. He opened up on the second chapter. I may be wrong, it's 44 or 45. Javan Arthur is the planet of the Tantra Famous verse in the second chapter. All purposes are served by a small pond or small pond of water are ultimately served by a great reservoir. Simply one who knows the purpose behind the Vedas is understood. All the purposes of the Vedas are revealed, they're made available. It really clicked with me. There was no purpose. And we didn't have the full bag of ideas in those days. There was an abridged version, a little purple version. And most of the purpose were not missing, were not there. But uh, it just it just struck a chord in my heart. Yes. If we surrender to Krishna, he'll fulfill everything we ever wanted. Not by giving us 
that object which we think will make us happy, but within the heart. It really convinced me that there was no need of anything else but Krishna Maharaj. So we have to thank Maharaj for that one. Thank you, Maharaj. Very good. We, uh, Maharaj didn't stay too long. I think he left in about 1973. We were going in different directions, probably at that time, maybe you were preaching about the animal health. Then he went to America for some time. The next time I saw Maharaj was in India. Uh, Maharaj was always very, considered very austere, generally speaking. Very regulated, very serious, very austere. And in India, it was ideal situation, I think. He would travel around India, preaching, making life members, distributing books. He would travel on trains. They'd have to take the books in cases, in trunks. You know, and that wasn't in the Rajdhani Express first class. Whatever class they could get in, someone else with very old services, the heat. You know, it's like traveling on trains, but with huge suitcases and going here and there. It wasn't as comfortable as it's now, but he was undergoing that, the pleasure of Prabhupada. It spread this mission. And then later on, he was in the Philippines. Shamal Krishnamaj asked Maharaj to go to the Philippines for many years. I'm regularly visiting the Philippines, although Maharaj hasn't been for a long time. And wherever we go, people, the older members, they always remember actually National Srinivas or Bashing at the time. And how he would come, always so simple, so austere, take the cheapest means of transport and just whatever Krishna provides and preach, preach, and preach. And so many people in the country still remember him to this day and the effect that he had on them. And the movement there, because there were other devotees, but especially Maharaj was going around all the other 12,000 islands. He didn't go to all of them, but he went to many of the main islands preaching, sowing the seeds of Krishna consciousness. He'd been a preacher since the very first day of his coming to the movement and continues to do so with his life and soul. And this was Prabhupada's mood. Prabhupada did not want to retire. He, did, he requested the privilege to die on the battlefield preaching Krishna consciousness. He's an exemplary example of this. Or to speak of his preaching in China, one of the most challenging places in the world. So we like to thank Maharaj for being what he is and inspiring all of you and many devotees around the world. He was also a teacher as well as a preacher by example. And we wish him a very Krishna conscious appearance day and may he live. I don't want to say this, um, but we would like to say it. It may be many years to inspire us all more and more and more. But that's between him and Krishna. But that's their desire that he kindly um, give his association. Every devotee carries a little bit of Shri Prabhupada's unlimited qualities. Maharaj carries many of them in a very exemplary way. Sadhana, preaching, seriousness, sincerity, so many wonderful qualities. So, Hare Krishna, I think I've gone over time already. Shri Bhakti Vignashna Shringa Maharaj Ki Jai Gola Prima Nandi Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai Haribo Maharaj says not more than five minutes Indian times. <laughs> Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamani Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pratharani 
निर्विशेष सुनने वाली पश्चात धारण वंश कल्पत रूपिया सिंधु के विश्व परिधान भावन जीव वैष्णव नमो नम टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू टेक द ऑपरचुनिटी टू थैंक इस ऑर्डिनेस महाराज फो काइंडली बींग इन मलेशिया आई थिंक दिस इज द ग्रेटेस्ट गिफ्ट a devotee in malaysia for a whole day when we read this remark bhagavatam when sutta goswami visited the sages in naimas sarinya forest the sages headed by saunath rishi he says that ponna sandadi to dakka dustaran nishtitim satam kalim satyam arapam tam karma dhara yogam is only by the arrangement of the providence that your holiness been visiting us by your wonderful blessing we may come out from the onslaught of influence of kali yuga malaysia definitely benefiting by the arrival by the wonderful association of his holiness here Just like Kaitanya Mahaprabhu told Sanatan Goswami, "Bhavat Vida Bhagavata Toyam Bhutam Tam Bhutu," Mahaprabhu says, "You are the very devotees like yourself are the very holy place personified because you carry Krishna in your heart all the time, and by your mercy you transform everywhere the holy places." So I'm very grateful to Maharaj for coming and setting a very beautiful example. Maharaj is very simple, very pure in his art, and is very sincere for the Prabhupad movement. The first time I saw Maharaj, I think it was in Sabran Jaya, and Maharaj, I saw Maharaj was going around the garden and pulling out all the weeds in the garden. Half the leg, Maharaj going around and collecting all the rubbish in the, around the temple area. So I asked one of the devotees, "So Maharaj, can I see your leg? In the Maharaj, where the leg is?" I asked the devotee, "What Maharaj is doing?" He said, "This Maharaj is different level." So Maharaj is very humble. And imagine, you know, we're talking about the Chinese, you know, China preaching. Recently, asked Maharaj how long it took, you know, time for Maharaj to learn the Chinese language. So I was eager to see. I was very inspired the way Maharaj speaks Chinese to the Chinese devotee. So I thought, within short time, maybe I could go and learn and come. So I asked Maharaj how long it took time for you, Maharaj. Maharaj is about ten years. So I thought maybe I could go for one year. Then Maharaj asked Maharaj, "How long it really took the time to really establish your Chinese preaching?" Maharaj said, "Thirty years." I thought I will do it next life. <laughs> <laughs> so Maharaj is very humble, very patient for for the you know, assisting Prabhupad movement. Maharaj, you know, willing to leave his comfort zone and go to a place like China. And stay in the midst of non-devotees. And today, Maharaj is doing wonderful preaching work among the Chinese devotees. Definitely, Prabhupada is very pleased with Maharaj. You know, all these activities, and we are very fortunate that Maharaj and the Jananda Maharaj, the Prabhupada disciples, are with us around still in the world, so that we can see the mood of Prabhupada through them. And today, even Maharaj has set a very high standard on sitting on the Vyasa Puja. No, I still. Maharaj supposed to sit there and you know take the step in the Asa Puja offering, but Maharaj refused due to his immunity. He has refused, and I was thinking, they are proper disciples, very qualified to sit on the Asa Sang to accept the Asa Puja offering, but Maharaj refused. And what he will do is he become a guru, maybe get to sit on the floor. So in this way, that Maharaj is very wonderful here. And uh, I'm going to dedicate the Bengali song for Maharaj, the uh, song from Sarnagati by Bhakti Unod Thakur. He is begging for the mercy of Vaishnava to attain Krishna consciousness. The song is in uh, Bengali. So I thought the singing is Bengali, but you know both Maharaj, I think they were not able to understand the Bengali. 
and the audience majority of them are Chinese and Indians, they also won't be able to understand Bengali. Then I thought to sing it in English, but I'm not very good in English, so I thought you know, drop the idea. <laughs> and I thought to do it in Chinese language, I thought I'll do it next lifetime. <laughs> the only thing I thought you know, do it in Tamil. I translated the Bhakti Unod song, as so an audience majority of our Tamils, and they will be able to appreciate, they present the contribution and arrival, of his holiness to Malaysia and definitely the Malaysians, they are very much blessed because whomever we talk to them, they will say Maharaj is very, 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 very humble. Oye Vaishnava Paktare Karunai Vaindavare Karunai Yanatukkanjam Kurukhide Oye Vaishnava Paktare Karunai Vaindavare Karunai Yanatukkanjam Kurukhide Om Malapadangalai Vanangalindre Yenai Chuya Tapsanapti Vidhe Bhagavani Tattane Tuntarunai Nale Namam Chuyinai Adhile Chuve Always you remain humble, meek in your life. That means 
If you don't feel that you are very progressed in your life at the mercy of Jananda Maharaj, and Jananda Maharaj always you know, encouraged me to follow the bhakti very nicely and do the best for Prabhupada movement. Before my sannyas, you know, I had the opportunity to travel to Maharaj, he was my mentor. And then uh, he, I met him in a different country in Europe. And Maharaj says that, you know, you are too strong philosophical in your lecture. Maybe the Western white people may be scared to hear a lecture. I told Maharaj, let me preach to Indians. Maharaj, you preach to the rest of the very smartly, and then he, he, you know, I did not have kind of money to travel with him. He paid for, you know, airfare and everything. And Maharaj is very tolerable, and it is very, Wonderful because I think as lived in Malaysia for a long time they understood the mindset of the Indians here and together we got you know, nourishing of Maharaj here and somebody said you know if they told a lot of prasadam one time and Mahaprasadam remnants of nursing of Maharaj then I was very eagerly waiting for Mahaprasadam and all then finally I understood Maharaj doesn't take any 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 column book in <laughs> My wife is always taking the uh, egg and the prasadam. So whenever they say, you know, Mara, you are nursing a Mara's prasadam, just bring one small piece, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a slave of my senses, but Mara is very well controlled. And you're very happy, Mara, for being so good in my Asia. And we humbly pray to the Lord and Prabhupada that, you know, they may give a very good and long life for both Mara this year. And they can, you know, uh, present and come to Malaysia very often. Kindly help us to guide us in the spiritual journey. After your departure from the world, we don't have anybody, you know, to be connected, you know, in the mode of Prabhupada. And thanking you from the bottom of my heart for all your kind association and mercy upon me in my life. Jai. His Holiness Bhakti Vigyas from Narsingha Maharaj Ki Jai. His Holiness Jananda Maharaj Ki Jai. Yeah. Hare Krishna, thank you so very much, uh, His Holiness Jagannatha Goswami Maharaj and His Holiness uh, Bhakti Vigunda Swami Maharaj. So we are very fortunate to have the physical presence of Arshila Gurudev on, uh, on the Holy Vyasa Puja as well as the wonderful presence of His God Brother as, and uh, His Holiness Bhakti Vigunda Swami Maharaj. And uh, to hear a few words from uh, Gurudev's uh, good brother and uh, His Holiness Gurudev Swami Maharaj is the sweetest today. So what we see now is a very beautiful sight. Okay, uh, so we are moving to our next segment. We are welcoming our honorable guests like Temple President, His Grace Rupa Singh Prabhu from Jagannath Mandir Kuala Lumpur, His Grace Siva Chaitanya Prabhu from Iskong Sabram Jaya, and senior members of Iskong Malaysia, His Grace Adhavi Prabhu, His Grace Santana Mataji, and His Grace so we would like to welcome them to say a few words on this auspicious day. So may I have permission to have Mataji first? So we go ahead. Mataji. Hare Krishna, Om Adhyana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya, Chakshur Unmilitam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Namaha. So unqualified as I am to uh, speak about Maharaj, I nevertheless stand here for my own purification. So, so this is a wonderful day today. We have uh, noticed witness with the uh, very exalted devotees on the stand here and uh, it has been a great pleasure to associate with them. Uh, a very rare opportunity uh, in such a nice setting. Thank you for this uh, wonderful function. So Maharaj, uh, the first time uh, I happened to meet Maharaj was I think during uh, early 2000 when Maharaj newly came. I didn't know he was a sannyasi at the time. 
it was in Bati Caves, we were having a food for life cooking going on for a, what is called Kalmi Yatra. You know, we cook for thousands of people and the cooking session is, a, it's a makeshift kitchen, very difficult to keep clean and you know, you have to continuously keep cooking, you know. <coughs> So that kind of atmosphere and I just saw somebody with orange robes, you know, cleaning, doing the cleaning work. I didn't much think about who he is because we were all very much engaged in services. And then only after that I realized, I was wondering, this person is constantly cleaning. Then I asked someone, who is this person, you know, this Kamjo is constantly cleaning, you know, because there was a lot of cleaning to do and we couldn't manage with it. And Mohammed was constantly cleaning and I said, this is a sannyasi. And you know, I was shocked and I was, I felt so bad about the whole thing, you know. And this is Maharaj, another, uh, I mean, for a short of time, there's so much to speak about Maharaj uh, with uh, all the association all these years. But I'd like to finish with just uh, this, uh, this importance, how Maharaj is constantly uh, reminding us about the importance of humility in devotional life, you know. And, and uh, also uh, speaking uh, for my husband, my husband actually feels very scared to go anywhere near Maharaj. <laughs> for the simple reason that if he goes there and pays obeisances to Maharaj, Maharaj will pay obeisances to him. Just for that reason, he will totally avoid Maharaj. I don't know what Maharaj thinks about it all the time, but <laughs> this is the truth. So uh, with this, uh, I think uh, we are praying uh, to our Lordships, especially on behalf of uh, Sri Jagannath Mandir Polalapo. I would like to extend our sincere gratitude and uh, thanks for being a great source of inspiration and even his uh, disciples are very nice disciples who work cooperatively with the management and who render invaluable service to the temple. So uh, at this juncture, we'd like to thank Maharaj for not only his inspiration, but also for the services of the, his disciples. And uh, we are also praying to their lordships to shower their mercy and blessings upon Maharaj so that he can lead a long life and keep inspiring us. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mother. You so let's be invited to the place to pass the book. You would? Just like the two words. Sabah Shantir from Manaji. She's one of the pillars of the Kuala Lumpur Temple. And she's made great sacrifices to help develop the Krishna consciousness movement on Kuala Lumpur. Her and her husband are very strong rocks there in the Kuala Lumpur temple. We've done so much service over the years, it's inconceivable. You, you cannot imagine how much energy and how much support they put into the Krishna consciousness movement. And we're very much grateful to have devotees like her here. My husband, Tatarit Prabhu, was our uh, top book distributor in 1984. Yeah. Uh, Frederick Typerson, that's probably the first time I worked with him. Then, and in a way that going out in Battery Case and Ravi Lotion, that with it, Tanamaj, Bhakti Vajendra Maj, they're all out there. But especially the householders, um, there's just been so many books up in the cave. And black, turning black, that is the street of the book. So that would have always had a very strong heart for this street book. So I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Oh my God, I do it in this way. Can I do this way? I'm going to talk to you later. 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 Maharaj with your permissions and the organizers. I would like to read the Vyasa Puja offering from His Holiness Jayapataka Swami Maharaj. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, His Holiness Bhakti Vignana Srila Swami Maharaj Ki Jai. I heard 
Today is the 75th Vyasa Puja of His Holiness, Bhakti Vikna Vinasana Sri Maharaj. And the disciples are celebrating in Malacca, Malaysia, where Maharaj is at present. Maharaj is two months older than me. <laughs> Maharaj became a disciple of Srila Prabhupada in London in the early 70s and he has been dedicated disciple of Srila Prabhupada since then. I'm very fortunate to have his association every year during the Navadvip Mandala Parikram and also for the past few years he has been joining the safari after Guru Purnima. He has been a teacher at Mayapur Institute since its beginning. Maharaj is known for his humility. I heard whichever temple he stays, the Pujari gets break from the morning arati. <laughs> I'm grateful to him for guiding many of my disciples as Siksha Guru especially in Kasha Desh. He has been traveling and preaching in many countries like Malaysia, Thailand, Philippines, Kasha Desh, etc. He is also very fluent in Mandarin. I pray for his good health. Hare Krishna, your servant, Jayapataka Swami. Uh, as you all know that there are predictions the Senapati Bhakta will come and spread the message of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that was none other than Srila Prabhupada. So Prabhupada lives like a legend that a spiritual ambassador from Goloka Vrindavan came to this world to spread the message. Since Prabhupada left and his presidents, all Srila Prabhupada disciples, such as Bhakti Vikna Nashim Swami Maharaj, Yananda Maharaj, they are the backbone of ISKCON right now for this movement. And uh, I'm very fortunate, many of the fortunate, I'm very fortunate to have uh, the Prabhupada direct disciples still alive in this world. Uh, we don't know about the future, how many of the devotees, they may not have their associations, their blessings. So I'm very fortunate to have Malaysia President Maharaj, on behalf of the Central Committee members, we would like to thank you Maharaj visiting all of our centers, branches and guiding all the devotees and especially in Chinese preaching. So uh, we would like to thank Maharaj also try to establish something in East Malaysia and Kuchi with the, some ministers and dignitaries and uh, Buddhist society, something we are going to try to do something, develop there. So really, really thank you Maharaj for your blessings. Please keep on guide us and as our spiritual mentor, as our Siksha Guru. Thank you Maharaj. Thank you Krishna. I first met Kripasen to Prabhu, I remember we were traveling in Malaysia and Lokana Swami. <coughs> He had come and we were traveling, there was a group of us traveling around the centers in Malaysia and uh, Kripa Sindhu Prabhu was there and Lokana Swami remarked, he said to Kripa Sindhu, he said, he said, you make my work very easy. <laughs> Kripa Sindhu Prabhu was playing the Ganga and leading Kirtan and Lokana Swami was appreciating you make it very easy for me <laughs> just by your presence. But Kripa Sindhu himself is very wonderful devotee, very dynamic. I was appreciating what Jananda Maharaj said, that you shouldn't be involved so much in management, you should be more in preaching, traveling and preaching. Of course, somebody has to manage. So. And he's making that sacrifice. But he's a very wonderful preacher also. Hare Krishna. Like many devotees in Malaysia, he would let's say first contacted in Plum Estate. Super Sindhu is one of those, along with Mahavaraha. Right back from 84, 85, 86. They were young little kids, right? 
Coming, we would go there sometimes and uh, stay overnight, have morning programs. Sometimes they would come and join us, stay in a, a shed or whatever. <laughs> and amazing, absolutely amazing now to see these devotees, Mahara Prabhu, Dr. personal service, Peter Sindhu Prabhu is a peasant. Jagannath Mandir, even Sikha Titania Prabhu, we were from that area. We were from that area, so we were from that area, with all of your brothers. And so many of us, I think about 30 or 40 devotees from Plumber State who have been escaped um, you know, over the period of those decades or something like that. Incredible. Um, let's see. Krishna the Rain. And as you know, I said, wonderful preacher, Kirtan leader. Very helpful. So nice. Thank you all very much. Uh, so we'd like to, I'd like to thank the management here. So I don't know who they are, either Makunda and one or two others. But uh, it's such a nice arrangement. Uh, very nice uh, facility, ideal, beautiful temple, nice hall, go puja, everything very nice. Thank them very much for the offer and the sincerity and the hard effort to make this event. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Thank you. Our thanks to His Holiness Ramakrishna Maharaj for sending over the kind words and thanks to His Grace Prabhu Prabhu. Next, we will go to Siva Chaitanya Prabhu for a few words. Hare Krishna. Yes, we will do that. Bhakti Vikram Nashina Shri Swami Maharaj. <laughs> Please have some humble basics of your support, but no grace to you, Maharaj. So, Maharaj actually, uh, I have no qualification to glorify you, Maharaj. However, I would like to offer my prayers to Sri Sri Radha Krishna Kanaya, Sri Sri Tai Gorangara, Sri Jaila Pandis Bhadra, Nashmudi, Srila Prabhupada, and Glorious Acharyas for your good health and continuous preaching. His Holiness Maharaj is an emblem of simplicity and truthful, truthfully follow the third verses of Shishashtaka. Tanadapi Sumichera, Tarapi Saisana, Amani Ramani Vinati Kanyasara. So, Maharaj always be exemplary for us, especially when we chant. Constantly chant. Mahaprabhu say constantly chant means we have to be humble. And that we can see in Maharaj here. Uh, presence and uh, is show by example. Uh, uh, Maharaj, uh, Maharaj does all the menial services as all devotees mentioned, just like Bhakti Vikanda Maharaj mentioned that he is come, when he stays in the temple, he cleaves the temple, he does the weeding of the, te the temple, pulling out the grass, the many small services, and this is for the pleasure of Guru and Krishna. So he do it for Prabhupada and is want to see the temple is clean. So this is what Prabhupada wanted. So this is the Bhagavad Gita Krishna say, Yad Yad Achis Kesa Tattat Yavatara Janaha Saya Paramanam Kuriti Lokastat Anavalkati Whatever action is performed by the great man, the government will follow in his footsteps. And whatever standard is set, by example, and all the world is his. So this is my Maharaj Mood to establish this. Maharaj is 100% Srila Prabhupada man. My uh, main focus is to preach. Some years ago, during Taibusa, Maharaj joined a book distribution with a team of Kuala Lumpur and Sankhya devotees, and myself also in CBD. So, book distribution during the. Uh, it's not easy task, it's austere, and Maharaj will sleep in the van and he wanted to distribute books as well. You know, Taibusa, maybe devotee experienced this, and uh, in, in, especially in KL, it's like. Uh, it's a very tough, a lot of people, but Maharaj take it as a, you know, as a pleasure to distribute, and this is a proper mood, proper man. He, 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 he distributes tires, tires to the, and even not even sleep, and from this place for sleep. For Maharaj, he did not care about bodily requirements, but slop with the unfulfilled Fulfill the Surabhava missions. Another amazing quality of Maharaj is Maharaj's deep love for his disciples and devotees. 
and forgive all shortcomings and seek forgiveness for his errors committed by the Sadhguru devotees. I also obtain a great realization from Maharaj's classes and lecture. Maharaj has the ability to make lectures in a simplified format for all us to understand the message of Krishna and Acharya. On this auspicious day, Maharaj, I would like to thank all for all of your wonderful association and teaching upon me. I seek the blessing that I am able to serve Vaishnavas and Guru and Krishna. So in that book, we will have the national of Maharaj Ki. Thank you, Sri Vishnu Prabhu. Next, we have this victory from Prabhu to say a few words. I remember with Sri Vaitanya Prabhu, sometimes we go for book distribution together. You know, I always thought I was a good book distributor until I went with him. It is really good. He could always distribute many more books than me. I always remember him. Very wonderful book distributor. He has a lot of shakti. And people really think of him. He was able to distribute a lot of books.
And we are incredibly fortunate to live here by the mercy and blessings of our dear Guru Maharaj. This is Ram Vala from Ayodhya, Maha Prasad. So, back to the national symphony, Makaraj. Chi 祝我是对孤独队我是家家家那你的伟大喜祝工作队为亚萨普家生日快乐身体健康传教顺利哈瑞奎是呢 我是祝你生日快乐，身体健康，传教顺利。我是家里十万里，每位大喜，祝孤独的娃娃亚莎，孤家生日快乐，身体安康，传教顺利。我是武汉的家，狗恩大，每位大喜，祝李新哈姑日
让社会家生日快乐，身体健康，传。今天的苏伯者最为大喜，祝各位，人家说姑娘生日快乐，身体健康，传教顺利。我是夏马拉他最为大喜，祝姑爹王。为亚萨布家生日快乐，身体健康，团教顺。我是乌特拉德维达西，祝古鲁德为亚萨布家生日快乐，身体健康，团教顺利。我是维达瓦提德维达西，祝古鲁德为亚萨布家生日快乐，身体健康，团教顺利。祝古鲁对维亚萨布家生日快乐，身体健康，传教顺利。哈利克什呢？顶拜古鲁对的莲花主，我是祝贝云，祝古鲁对维亚萨布家生日快乐，身体健康，传教顺利。哈利克什呢？哈利克什呢？我是施曼，祝古鲁对维亚萨布家快乐，身体健康，传教顺利。我是巴巴塔利尼的达西，祝古鲁队维亚萨布贾生日快乐，身体健康，传教顺利。亲爱的，虽然古鲁队，祝您生日快乐，福如东海，寿比南山。Accept our humble obeisances, all glories to Shiva Prabhupada. Please accept our offering on your Vyasa Puja. Thank you for your care and instructions. We will do our best to follow it better and better, and help others to do it by your mercy. We wish you good health, our dear Guru Maharaj. Lord Chaitanya sent his general Shila Prabhupada to spread the holy name throughout the world with the Sankirtana Arma. Then Shila Prabhupada has prepared. So please give us uh, your mercy, Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Maharaj. Uh, happy Jasmine Nagu Maharaj. We miss you a lot from Bangkok. Hare Krishna. Krishna Guru Maharaj, on the word for us, I am Vishwamaya Deva Dasi, as you just said, please always keep me in your guidance, thank you very much. 
Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, Tendral Pranam, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, Happy Bias Puja, please take care Guru Maharaj, wish you all the very best. Your servant Ananda Vrindavan Devi Dasi, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, Happy Bias Puja. 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 Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj Happy Vyas Puja oh. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj Happy Vyas Puja Hare Krishna Guru Dev Happy Vyas Puja Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj Happy Vyas Puja Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj Happy Vyas Puja Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj Ganavatanam uh, Happy Vyas Puja Guru Maharaj Help you uh, keeping uh, good will always Please accept my humble obeisances, Guru Maharaj. Please always bless me and thank you for everything. Happy Vyasa Puja, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. Oh,敬爱的灵性导师，在华人过新年的前夕，徒儿祝您生日快乐，身体健康。Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, I pray to Lord Krishna to give you good health and long life so you can go on giving mercy to all the conditioned souls out there. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, wishing you a very, very happy Vyasa Puja, wishing you all the happiness. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, Vyasa Puja Kwaila. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hi,Krishna,马拉什,你好。我是春嘎贝利亚德里达斯。我们祝福马拉什生日快乐。祝福马拉什生日快乐,福禄东海寿比南山。马拉什。马拉什。马拉什。马拉什。马拉什。马
we feel very safe and sheltered at the lotus feet of our Srila Gurudev. Srila Gurudev, Ki Jai. Shall enhance Srila Prabhupada's mission all over the world. 
I am feeling very much fortunate and obliged to Sri Lagurude for accepting this unqualified fallen disciple who patiently waited for more than seven years in Bhakti Mandir in late 1990s. As an un unqualified disciple of Guru Deva, very much obliged in instructions either direct or indirect, intimately abiding with prominence. Though having nature of close observance, understanding surrounding situations, acts rightfully and thoughtfully in order to benefit all as Kaladukaduki. In such manner, deeply inclined to Krishna consciousness by proof, prominence, and guidance of Sadhu Sastra Guru, strongly believe spiritual master's relationship is very intimate and at times of conflicts arose in my mind. Guru Deva calls and inquires situations though subtle consciousness reciprocates. Great Guru Deva truly demonstrate what is prescribed in Bhagavad Gita Sloka 5.18. Pandita Samadarshinaha, the humble sage, by virtue of true knowledge, see with equal vision, a learned and gentle brahmana, a cow and an elephant, a dog and a dog eater, always inquire, even from distance, and seek welfare of all devotees regardless of its diversity. Most thoughtful towards whoever guidance and instruction brought up both the kids in proper Krishna consciousness current, with current state serving this one particularly to do as grown and all. There are in conditions, situation times, even non denial facts, some impediments and struggles upon devotional services. The rightful thoughts and little sincerity and honesty abiding to Guru Krishna direction overcoming those impediments eventually towards intimate devotional service under the water seat feet of Sri Guru Krishna. In the very eastern northern region visiting in Penang, Guru Deva feeling unwell made us very much worried upon recovery. We as disciples did our level best upon recovery. Guru Deva immediately engaged in the teaching mission, even in partial recovery was worrying us because of the limitation of material body conditions, even in Example the devotee such as Guru Deva, it doesn't deserve. Nevertheless, our services, limitations, setbacks, serving Vapu diligently and intimately with strife through Vani to further improve our setbacks in the near future. As a conditioned soul still struggles to progress in Krishna consciousness, Nevertheless, feel fortunate by spiritual master's blessing and guidance with sincere endeavor, able to understand through Sadhu Sastra Guru guiding principles for eventual progress in Krishna consciousness. To our observations, Guru Deva is Sastra centric and always emphasizes reading Sri Prabhupada both made inclined towards reading the scriptures. It is not impossible for a sincere disciple striving forward by direction of a spiritual master with, with, with prominence saying a blind able to cross an ocean and a limb able to cross the highest mountain. Last and not the least as a disciple of Guru Deva, truly convinced upon disciple of Guru Vandana in third line that Chakudan Diloje Tanvi Tanvi Prabhuse Divijan Hitta Prakasito Prema Bhakti Daha Hoite Avidya Vinasa Jate Guru Deva opened my darkened eyes and fills my heart with transcendental knowledge. Guru Deva is my Lord, birth after birth. From Guru Deva, ecstatic prema emanates by Guru Deva. Ignorance is destroyed. The very scriptures sing of Guru Deva character. As a Deva disciple, High level best abiding with Guru Deva guidance, teaching exemplary and set precedent, striving to advance in Krishna consciousness. By this mindful thought, concluding my homage offering here, Guru Deva, Hare Krishna, His Holiness, Sri La Bhakti Vikna Vrasa Narasimha Guru Maharaj, Samhitas Vyasa Puja Salutation Jai. Ananda Bodhi Vaishnava, the Jai Manchakal Patarubhya Stakar Pasundi Vyeva Chapati Tanam Pavadeko Vaishnava Vyo Namo Namaha. Can you repeat the question, Prabhu? We would like to apologize that due to time constraints,
Muslim, we are cutting down uh, many homage offerings, so we are narrowing it down to representatives from each region. So now we have uh, His Grace Ramakulsi Prabhu from Iskong Debra, followed by Her Grace Damayanti Mataji from Iskong Malaka, and uh, from SGM here we have Ashwada Mani Mataji and Isai Mataji, and finally Sri Deni Dorangi Mataji from Iskong Debra.
was uh, made Guru Maharaj in my house by Vijay Ramahat of them. When I first saw him and entered the house oh, with a smiling face, then when he smiled, I also smiled. <laughs> and then when he noticed my author, then uh, she asked me a question in Mandarin. I said, oh, <laughs> I'm very surprised. You know, because the Guru Maharaj can speak Mandarin, so for me it's a very, in my heart I say, oh, I think this is my Guru Maharaj, you know, so, so I now become a Guru Maharaj, it's a very good question. So during the COVID time, during the COVID time in four years time, so the four years I listened to the Zoom class of Guru Maharaj, so it's like a the four years, like uh, a sunshine, shy to me. Uh, I feel really, I learned a lot from Guru Maharaj. So I, I'm very happy. Uh, so I'm very happy. I think four years, although it's COVID time, so I learned a lot. Uh, so I will try to become a, a better disciple of Guru Maharaj. So this opportunity that. Yasuda Mahi Mataji was saying it's like Shishi Guru Abstata, 8th verse Yasa Prashada By the mercy of the spiritual master, what is benedicted by uh, in the mercy of Krishna, without the mercy of the spiritual master, we cannot make any advancement. So I just want to relate back during COVID, I also had the opportunity uh, to argue with Guru Maharaj. I love egg sandwich, I love omelette, I love, um, uh, what do you call this, bull's eye, eggs fly. Then I tell Guru Maharaj, the eggs is not fertilized, so I'm not killing anybody, what's the problem? And can you guess what Guru Maharaj say? Jolene, you don't need to eat the chicken's menstruation waste. <laughs> The spiritual master bring Krishna's mercy and we deliver the mercy of Krishna. We love you very much, Guru Maharaj. You are our spiritual father. So, welcome Guru Maharaj. Guru Tong Hai Su Pi Lan San Su Pi Jai Khan. Happiness as great as the East Sea. Uh, so Pinansan, so Pinansan means and live long, live long as the South Mountain. Yes, yeah, so my marriage is uh, from the young family, married into the young family. Her husband passed away a few years ago. Her husband is also initiated. Anyway, Yashoda Mai now travels with Tridikram Prabhu when they go to China. She's been to China a few times and preached there. But she's also published a nice book about vegetarian cooking, introducing Chinese people to how to make korma and kolombo and, and curry. Chinese people don't know about curry, so she published a nice vegetarian book. Um, Nithai Priya was helping her. Nithai Priya is from, uh, originally from Taiping. Her father was, was well known to the devotees there for many years. Been you know, associated with the Taiping devotees and we'd always see him at that point of time. So Nithai Priya now she's a, a professor in Kuala Lumpur. And, and She's also active devotee helping to develop our Chinese congregation. So Krishna is sending more and more nice Chinese devotees to help us to develop Krishna consciousness. So how much easier it is for you to become Krishna conscious? If the Chinese devotees can also take it up, then it's so easy for all of you who are born in Indian fam in Hindu families. You have to work right. So 
you should also take very seriously and dedicate your life for the service of Krishna. Lifetime after lifetime, 
Guru Maharaj for everything. I humbly pray Sita Guru Maharaj receives many, many unlimited showers of blessings from the Lordships, Sri Sri Radha Madhava, Sri Sri Nitai Gavanda, and Sita Prabhupada for continued preaching in good health. Your most insignificant, unworthy, humble servant, Sri Devi Gauranti, Devi Das. Thank you, Sri Devi Gurangi Manaji. She's a very nice lady. She's a retired professor from the university. She was in the ling linguistics department and she's published literature, published books. Now she's dedicated full time to Krishna consciousness. And she, she holds online classes. She has a few people with her regularly every week and she's reading Prabhupada's books and teaching them Krishna consciousness. It's very nice and strong client. Can I keep it as strong client? Very, very nice to you. Thank you. Thank you. Hare Krishna. I couldn't say no to Hari Govinda Prabhu and his good wife Lalita Mataji. They came to me and said that they wanted to speak for one and a half minutes. So we will give them the opportunity.
Thank you. 
Yeah, it'll take you one minute, you can cut. Well, it's one four, one's cut already, so no, there's four still cut. So it won't take you long, right? Just go for it. Come on. Oh, you're a lazy man. I'm going to say how busy you are and how enthusiastic you are. Come on, let's see your enthusiasm. Let's see your, hum let's see your true humility and enthusiasm. <laughs> I am not cut. What type of humor is this? No, that's already cut. Leave that one alone. Here, this one, this one. That's the grand finale. You start the little ones and then work up for the giant. Arrivo! Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Krishna bless you. May 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 Krishna bless you. Puja Mahamad Sabeke, Ustan Guru Brindeke, Jagat Guru Shila Prabhupada, Ustan Guru Shila Hari 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 Yeah. 
One is Haridam and same time we are going to visit that village. But just recently the one of the temple to also is completed. So that also we can cover that area. I think there's a few places. The Haridam will be take about one hour only. Before seven we will end Harinam and the pack lines will be brought. Uh, Prasadam will be provided at that area. So as I showed just now, we got uh, five people already completed our Bhakti Sastri. So we want to hand over the certificate. Guru Maharaj will be hand over the certificate to the participants. The first, Mukunda uh, Das Prabhu. Namayati Mataji. Shama Prakash Das. Vani Sujata Mataji. And the last, Vaibhava Vishal Prabhu. Thank you very much, Maharaj and all our devotees here. I hope all enjoy and have a good day today. So Prasadam still serve. Maharaj will be going for the first floor for the Prasadam. Hare Krishna.